Hi everyone, um, I'm back um, a little sooner than I expected, so um, I'm happy about that. I'm able to make a video for you guys. I told you I was going to review the um, It Cosmetics New Year, um, Your Most Beautiful Year. It was a five-piece collection. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, the TSV price was $59.96. And I believe it's on the website. I know it's on the website. I just looked um, for seventy-two dollars and fifty cents. So and there's an increase in price, but it's still reasonable for the um, amount of pieces you get. So um, let me get started. Um, what I was really drawn to this kit for was the foundation. Um, I have been using the Bare Minerals Ready Formula in medium. And I was finding that it was making my my face look really flat in pictures. And I feel like it was washing me out. Um, maybe I possibly had the wrong color. I know that they were running a little lighter in the Ready formulas. So I really liked the Ready. I still really like the Ready formula. Um, and I, I use it during the summer too. I use a darker shade. So I, I probably will be going back and forth. But I'm really, really liking the it cosmetics um the illuminating um foundation sorry i had to think about that um this is their new formula um it has an uh, illuminating effect it's not flat um it's their celebration foundation and i have it on right now i have it on in the light um it's a celebration foundation illumination. So it's different from their um their original celebration foundation in that it has that nice um dewiness. It, like most um mineral powders I feel like that are in compact form. Now, not saying the bare minerals original formula, that kind of has like a dewiness to it. It's not flat really, but like the ready formula has a flatness to it but this this compact version of a mineral powder um it has like a nice sheen to it like a it's not flat it's not a matte um it has more of a natural finish um and i would say i'm going to show it to you this is the foundation and i have it in the light um I'll open it up for you. I've been using it, so, and that's what it looks like. Now, when you look at it, you don't see any shimmer or anything, but when it goes on, it just has this nice glow to it, and, like, if you can see my face, now, I do have my, um, radiance powder on, but it's just, like, I don't know, just something about it. I really, really like it, um, and I've been wanting to try the the um, powder form of um, Jamie Kern's um, foundations that she offers. Like I said in the last video, I had tried the um, H2O last year, the liquid form, and I really didn't like it. Um, I just don't like liquids. I don't want to say like it's a bad foundation in general, but I really just don't like liquids. Um, I just, I'm, I feel like the powder forms, I've, I've been using it since I was in college, so I mean it's been... A while that I've been using powder foundations and I'm just I'm just used to them I guess I like the the easiness of them um, and it also comes with a brush so it goes right in there if you want to travel with it um this is like the travel brush I guess you could say but it does come with this beautiful brush and this is like their flat top kabuki for um, this foundation and I looked at this brush and I'm, you know, you get those, like I said before in other videos, you get those brushes and you're not really sure, like if they're the same quality that you would get in an actual set. Um, this is, this is a great brush and it puts the foundation on so nicely. Um, I really, really like this. And I'm, I'm, I, I have, um, It Cosmetics, um, their blush stain on and peony right now, if you're wondering. I just, I'm just falling in love with this line. Um, really, really like it. And I look forward to purchasing more. So there's the, those are two out of the five pieces you get. And so, um, 
the next piece I'm going to talk about, I kind of went out of order as to how you could put it on, but that's okay. The next is like a two-in-one. Um, you get the Hello Light Brightener, and you also get the concealer, um, the Bye Bye Under Eye. Now, I'm going to tell you something. Um, last February, when I went in my haul, my It Cosmetics haul, when I wanted to try the line, um, I ended up only keeping the blush. I had gotten this in the tube for formula, and it came with a brush. Um, I didn't like it. I felt like it was tacky. I felt like it didn't dry. I was using way too much. Um, this applicator, like, this just gives you the right amount. Like, you don't have to worry about squeezing it and getting too much and, like, putting too much under. I just put a little bit of streak on each side, and then I dab it in, and it, it goes on so nice. Um, and it leaves your under eye looking moisturized like I've used um the bare minerals um the their correcting concealer they have on the cream the little pots that makes my eye under eye look so dry like it starts to flake after a while I think there's something that dries my under eye airing out this and I also was using Laura Geller's um her concealer I forget the name of it but um this is similar to the Laura Gallery in that it keeps your under eye moist, but this doesn't crease like the Laura Gallery one. Um, it's an awesome, I, I'm so happy that I got it in the kit to retry because I read all the reviews about it and like people are going on and on and on about this concealer. I'm like, well, why didn't it work for me? So I'm glad that I got to retry it. And I really, I'm not just saying, I really, really like it. Um, I probably will just use this forever until something better comes along, which I don't know if it will, but really, really like this. And the, um, the Holo Brightener, I put this on after, um, like I do my contour. I'll go in for a little highlighting, um, before I put my Radiance Illuminating Powder on by It Cosmetics. And, um, it did come with a card. I just didn't grab it. I'm sorry. Um, it showed you where to put this. And I dab it on the sides and I'll go around and I'll make like a triangle like they do, you know, to highlight that under eye. Um, and I'll also go in the corner right here in my eyes right here. I'll do a little bit up here and I go a little bit on my cupid's bow um, just to highlight. And you can also go on your uh, marionette lines um, to try to like conceal those. Um, you can do on the bridge of your nose. It's all up to you. Uh, now I use the radiance powder in some of those areas so I don't feel it's necessary but I really like doing it under my eye and in the inner corner where I, I get a little dark. So really really like this this is awesome and I love that it's two in one okay moving on um the next piece they kind of go together and I'm gonna put them now I keep these on my vanity and you get this little stand this is the anti-aging um feel the moment primer serum and um, it's called the Anti-Aging Ultra Hydrating Sensory Awakening. It's got like aromatherapy in it. And I really, really, really like putting it on my face. Um, in that I just like, like, I like the, the smell of it. It does have a nice, like, oh, it's aromatherapy. Um, I like it. It doesn't smell like medicinal or it just smells fresh. And I really, really like it. Um, and it does awaken your senses. So you're supposed to um, put this on after you cleanse your face and moisturize. Um, you would put this on. Now this is um, it's an ultra hydrating formula. I found that if I just put like um, like I use Miracle Worker um, wrinkle serum, anti aging wrinkle serum. If I just put that on without a moisturizer and then I put this on it, it worked a lot nicer than um using the moisturizer and this together because you have if you're going to use a moisturizer you have to make sure that you have enough time for it to to seep into your skin because I found that um it didn't like go into my skin completely it didn't what's the word I'm looking for um absorb um, and it was quite damp still. And so when I put the foundation on, 
it didn't go on very nicely. And that's not because of the foundation. It's just because I had a lot of moisture on my face. And this is ultra hydrating. So if you don't have really dry skin, you might not need that moisturizer. You might just put your serum on, your anti-aging serums, whatever you use. Um, and then this would be like in place of your moisturizer. It would be your moisturizer slash um, primer. So it'll be like a two-in-one. Now, I've been finding, um, I've been using a different product um, underneath my makeup and um, I just like the way it's been working for me. Um, not that this isn't good, but instead of using this underneath the foundation, and I'll do a review on what I'm um, currently using in place of this, um, I use this at night. I use it as a night a night um, serum. It's hydrating. It's good for your skin. Um, I'll tell you what it has in it. It has caviar extract, hydrolyzed hydro hydro collagen, sorry, um, the um, peptides, the hydraulic acid, vitamin A, C, and E, argon, um, jojoba, avocado, and deep ocean water. So lots and lots of good hydrating oils and um, um, I also, I also follow, um, Curly Wavy Diane, I think that's her name, hi, um, she puts this in her hair, um, and, hey, whatever works, I mean, it has good stuff in there, and, you know, usually, you know, you don't have to just, if it's good for your face, it's probably good for your hair, too, so, if you wanted to put it in at night, nice, um, to maybe moisturize your hair, um, go for it, you know, I haven't done it yet, um, I probably could, my hair's a little dry, um, maybe tonight when I think I'm going to wash it tomorrow. So, hey. But um, you're also, also supposed to um, use the brush to put the primer on, the serum. I find um, when you do use this, I didn't use it the first time, but when you do use the brush, it takes any like um, residue off that you don't necessarily need. So I think it's necessary to use this. They go hand in hand. And I really like the little... Um, pedestal I guess you could say a little goes together and you put the brush in there you can keep it right under your vanity so nice so like after you wash your you're gonna use it as a night serum and if you wash your face it's right there you can put it on and just use your little fan brush if you didn't want to use this for um for the, the primer and you just like to use your hands you could do that too um and this is a great makeup brush too if you wanted to use for highlighting or um, you could put it under your eye for fallout, whatever. Um, it has many different purposes it can um, meet, I suppose. Um, so I really, really like this. Um, so that's that. And I'm looking to purchase, I've been eyeing it. I'm going to get in trouble with my husband. Um, I really want to get the Bye Bye Pores illuminating setting powder that they have um right now um with this foundation i've been using um the illuminating brightening mineral veil um i like it i've been using it for a long time um but i just want to try it I want to try um the it cosmetic setting powder to see if i like that even better um so that's that and um you can still purchase this. Um, it's on the website. Um, it's like $12 more than what I paid for it. Um, and I did get it on auto delivery. So, um, and I think with the auto delivery, um, I'll only get the, the primer foundation and the concealer and, um, the Hello Light brightener. Um, no brushes. So it'll be a little cheaper. I want to say it'll be like 38 or 40 bucks. That's not bad though for all those pieces. It's it's like it's really like one, two, three, you get four for that price, like ten dollars a piece. So and I think I get it every three months for two years. So really, really weak. Oh, um let me tell you about this. Um this I would say you can get medium to full coverage, it just depends how many times you go over your face. Um it goes on so nicely. It really does. If you are a liquid girl, get this. Okay, that's it, guys. Um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.